getting a lot of questions lately. Mike, how do I keep my team motivated? How do I keep my team engaged? How do I maximize engagement? You know, many of us are now working remotely and our teams are working remotely. So this is brought about a series of new challenges if this was something that your business was previously not doing. And in addition to that, with all that's going on in the world, it's like, how do I keep my team engaged? So this is probably the most common question that we get. And the first thing that I would, I would share with you is that, look, engagement, when you break it down in terms of like what it is, engagement is a choice. People decide and choose whether they want to engage. I'm deciding today to engage with you. I could, I could just as equally make the decision to not engage. So recognize that engagement is a choice. And then the other thing is, as Cy Wakeman says, you know, engagement without accountability is really entitlement. So one of the things that you can do to maximize engagement is to instill accountability for your team in terms of who's accountable for what. You know, with, with, at our organization, we share all of our metrics publicly within the team. We've got dashboards, we've got KPIs for every single team member, every single department, that things that we are accountable to. And it's public, even, even my metrics are public. You know, so I think enforcing and instilling accountability is key. You know, high accountable individuals love that and that causes them to get more engaged. Low accountable individuals don't love that, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, the other thing is you can always reinforce the mission and the why. I think in, in moments of adversity and, you know, it's more important than ever to reinforce why are we doing this? Because if you get back to the root of the question, you think, how do I keep my team motivated? Well, what would be your reason why they would not be motivated? You know, perhaps it's that their environment has changed. They're at home. It's different. You know, it's different for each person. Uh, perhaps they're, you know, they're watching the news. They're reading on social media. They're scared. All those different things that perhaps cause a bit of distraction and a lack of focus. You know, now is more important than ever to reinforce your mission of your organization. Why are we doing this? Who are we impacting? The importance of working together and aligning. Because not only is this about your team, but it's also about your clients and your community. And reinforcing that is more important than it's ever been. Um, the next thing is just realizing that those who are aligned with the values of, of your organization are going to step up during this time. This is like the call to greatness. And those who aren't, well, they'll make that quite apparent. And in a way, that's a very good thing because this is also you know, a lot of exposure for businesses. This is the catalyst where you can determine who are your top A players, who are the most aligned, and who's not, quite frankly. Uh, now, you can do things like virtual happy hours. You can do things like, you know, uh, we deliver pizzas to our team. I think all these things help to support your team. So anything that you're doing to help to support them uh, and perhaps even offer moments of, uh, of brevity and, and, you know, and fun and enjoyment, those are good things, but these are supplementary. It's, you know, it's not going to solve a, a team that is not engaged. It's not going to solve a team that's not accountable. If they are already those things, and I think those other types of activities that you can do are certainly very beneficial and team members certainly do enjoy them. So of course we advocate for them, but they're not a band-aid to replace somebody who isn't motivated or you know to solve somebody who isn't motivated or a team that's not engaged and it's not aligned. You know, true motivation it comes from within, you know, it, you have to look at the standpoint that motivation really at its core, you want it to be intrinsic, you know, no one has to convince me to get out of bed every day to work and hopefully no one has to convince you um, to get out there and, and get after it each day. So it's, it's similar with high accountable team members and it's making sure that you've got the right people on board and for the ones that may not be the right people, you'll, you'll get very clear indicators of that during a time like this where it is the call to greatness and people do need to step up. Now, the other thing to ask yourself is if you have a team, let's say they may not be as engaged as you would like, well, are you enabling it perhaps? Are you allowing this to exist? Because remember, we get what we allow. And if you see something that's off standard and do nothing, well, that becomes the new standard. So a lot of times if you see low engagement or low accountability or any of these things, it's because you've enabled it. Quite frankly, you've allowed it. You've allowed that to exist and you've done nothing about it. You know, oftentimes it's, it's reaching down and like speaking to that team member and, you know, and discussing, you know, what are your motivations? What are your values? Uh, if you're not engaged, well, what is your plan to get engaged? All those different things. So I'd love to know how you guys are keeping your team motivated. Shoot me a text, 404-531-7691. I'd love to hear it. And, but I'll just tell you this question of like, how do I keep my team motivated and how do I maximize engagement really comes down to one, are you instilling accountability? Two, are we reinforcing the vision, the why, what we're doing, who we're impacting, perhaps highlighting client success stories, client wins, the people that you're impacting, because getting down to the core of that and the root of that is certainly very important. And then finally, it's, it's looking at the team and saying, look, who is intrinsically motivated? Who is stepping up? Who aligns with the values of, of the organization? 
you'll find that if somebody is not engaged and chooses not to engage and is not accountable, well, there's little that you can do or say to get that person motivated. I mean, to be honest, it's perhaps there's, a, there's another role for them or another another place where they could be much happier. Uh, but the ones who you know do want to work in a high accountable environment are going to flourish once you crank up that accountability and it's fun for everyone. Thank you.